Hi guys, it's Andy from Man City Fan TV and welcome back to, yes, part three. We thought we'd do it in two, but we didn't because um, we went on and I threw a bit of a curveball question at the end of part two to the guys and uh, hope you uh, managed to answer it in the comments below. See whether you thought uh, you would take no defenders this season, but you take Kylian and Bappe. Uh, but anyway, we're on to this final part home leg which is the golden question so kicking us off tonight is Chris okay mate so do you agree with Pep's decision not to play Fernandinho at centre defensive midfielder anymore I'm going to go to the guys uh, because I am really torn with this one um Tom, go on then. You I, yeah, I know. I know. Pep said that he probably won't move back up, but I think he should because I think he's a wasted talent at centre back. Um, you look at look at the games. Uh, Wolves last night, pace got the better of him on many Wolves. occasions. Chelsea. Yeah, Wolves. Wolves. yeah, Wolves. Yeah, Wolves, and then Chelsea, and last night as well. Uh, night. Yeah, you look at the Adama, and then you look at Pulisic. Pace beats him every time in that role. Um, him in a CDM role is way better. Um, I think if you had to choose, like I was saying, um, Rodri in centre-back over Dino, because I think Fernandino has the better experience in the CDM. Um, and best, bearing in mind, um, he's not very tall either, Ferner. I think he'd be better as the CDM. So, yeah, I I think that we should have put, I think we should put him back up into the CDM role. Well, we haven't seen, we haven't seen him in that role now since... Sort of, uh, what, how long ago now? What, uh, nine months, ten months, he nearly a year in that particular nearly a year. He's a year older. Um, would he be as, as effective as, you know, he has been in the past? I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll, I guess until he plays there, we'll never know. But, uh, okay, Martin? Tough one. Um, yeah, I tell you what, you do like the tough questions tonight, you like, don't you? Uh, no, because I think you're stumping the growth for Rodri. We've got to keep looking at the future. I know it's hard, but Fernandinho's 34 now. He's on a one-year rolling contract. What you know, we've got to give. I think Rodri's had some undeserved stick. I, I am always a player to give someone one year. I always do it. You know, if we if if we did what we did with Bernardo and Stur, you know, if we did what we did. With Rodri, with Bernardo and Sterling, you know, we'd have got rid of him after a year, wouldn't we? So, we, we, I just don't know. It's, 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 see, I'm saying it now and I'm still, I'm still changing my mind. Yeah, I mean... It's I, tough. I because I know how good he is in that CDM role. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is my point would be, we knew how good he was in that CDM role. Yeah. We haven't really, we've not seen him, have we, for a, a year? No, uh, he's 34 now. He's not he, a spring would, chicken. Would he be as effective back in that role again? I'm sure he would because his, his, his actual reading of the game is superb. Um, I mean, but I'm going to be honest. I even think his CDM last night pull a sitch and a run round him. I just think. Yeah, maybe. I, 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 I do because if you look at Pulisic, he didn't stay on the wing a lot. You know, he, he was coming in a lot. He was even Mount. It, the whole of the Chelsea midfield last night was better than ours. That was well, the I don't, problem. I don't, I don't think you would have seen that tackle from Mendy on Pulisic though. Uh, if it was Fernandinho, there would have been no way for, uh, Pulisic would have been going through one way or the other. He, mm. he, he would not have gone through. Um, and that's a bit of craft from Fernandinho. Um, Oh, tough question. I mean, I'm sort of like split between the, the, the what the others have said. I mean, we have missed him there. Um, but then we have spent 60 million quid on Rodri um, for that role. And, you know, I don't think I agree with some of the comments in the previous week's Friday Night Socials where I don't think it was the plan um, for Rodri to be starting. And um, if we did have a centre-back replacement for Vinny I think he would have been introduced slowly into watching Fernandinho in that role and things like that and well, I think he's been thrown in a deep end which I've said before on here in a very 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 difficult position in a Man City team to be able to play is a it's a phenomenally difficult position that that central defensive midfield role it's not like your classic sitting deep role um 
it's a tough one because the transitions are so quick. Uh, but yeah, go on, Chris. Okay, it wasn't. I'm not just saying that we should ditch Rodri. That's not really the question because uh, what I'll say, say Rodri gets injured, mm. Pep will still not play Ferner at CDM. He will play Gundogan, I think. Yeah. So should would that's my my issue really yeah. is with Pep is Ferner is the man in that position. I don't mind the fact that we're trying somebody new in Rodri, but if Rodri wasn't playing, I think it's a bit daft not to use Ferner uh, as his replacement in that in that instance, knowing how good he is. He might have lost some pace, and that, that's that's my issue with it. It's not so much yeah. that he he's trying Rodri there is this insistence that Ferner will never play there again I, th- I think it's stubbornness well that's Pep he's so it everywhere he's been with the CDM he so did it for Mascherano he, has, he converts all his CDMs into centre-backs and he's centre-backs and CDMs he seems to swap them all over I don't know why so is this is this really you pointing down it's a Pep thing more than anything else. More than I mean, the don't get players. don't get me wrong, Andy. Pep's the best thing that's ever happened to. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not saying but, slagging Pep off. I'm saying no, no, no. Question more of it around yeah. slagging him off. <laughs> but I think I do think it's really stubborn to say I will never play uh, Ferner back at that in that position. When in my opinion, uh, I think he's the best the Premier League's ever seen in that position. I know Kante's a great player, and Makaleli was uh, yeah. a fantastic uh, in that yeah. position too. But Fernandinho, for me, as as as, good, as much a City legend as is David and uh, Sergio, yeah. Yeah, I think I think he's a fantastic player, and I think he's wasted his uh, centre back. Yeah, I mean that 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 statement I definitely agree on. I think he's definitely wasted as because uh, he's not a great centre back. No, and that's the thing. If he was brilliant as a centre back, you'd have the dilemma of well, you know, you know what? But he's not great as a centre back. He isn't. We know that, mm-hmm. um, and I'm sure the majority of City fans who watch uh, City week in, week out will will have the same sentiments um, that he is better in a CDM role than he is as a centre-back. I mean, that's without a shadow of a doubt, because like you said, he's, he's one of the best CDMs we've ever seen in the Premier League. I mean, he's been phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal, and would walk into any of the Premier League teams in that CDM role, in my opinion, uh, it, it getting to Liverpool seemed no problem whatsoever. Alongside Henderson or whoever, is that good even now? Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know. I th- I think really you sort of your question might not have been about Pep, but I do think it is about Pep for me. Uh, I think it's about his stubbornness to just rule out any opportunities of, of uh, Fernandinho moving back there and. But yeah, I think I agree with you. I think if uh, Rodri was to get injured, he'd put Gundogan in there yeah. uh, and, and, and not go, right, OK, Taylor Howard, Bellis or Garcia, your centre-back, right, Fernandinho back in the CDM role. There is this stubbornness that Pep does have. Um, well, he's even had John Stones there ahead of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, but like you said, <laughs> who, we are, who are we to argue with? Pep Guardiola and uh, what he's done for City, but uh, it's a yeah a difficult one. I think if if Rodri was a twenty million pound signing, I think he might have relented and and maybe have tried Ferner Ferner back there again. But you know when you outlay sixty million quid on somebody, and I do feel sorry for Rodri. He's been thrown in at the deep end in a in a City system that the CDM role is so important, so difficult uh, because we get countered quickly. But we counter and we move the ball and transition it very quickly. And I don't think he's quite there yet. Uh, so I've got faith in him. Um, I, I think I think we've seen glimpses that he is a very technically gifted player. Uh, mm. And I'm hoping next season uh, he certainly steps up more than he has uh, this season. But we have seen glimpses of it. But interesting. Uh, what do you guys think? Give us your comments below. Uh, should Ferner? I'm going to be given more of an opportunity back in their CDM, um, as was Chris's question. Uh, but uh, interesting. Right, on to Tom. What's your golden question? Right, guys. So, excluding Virgil van Dijk this one, um, who would you take out of the current top six uh, to come into the City squad? And I will name this. This is excluding City, so this will be going down to seventh because obviously City, we can't include that. So, out of Liverpool, Leicester, Chelsea... 
Manchester United, Wolves and Tottenham, who would you take out of that team that could fit into the City squad without a, a first team starter? Bruno! Bruno! Are you, are you, Bruno. Are you talking... Who do? Who, is it simply who do we think could get in the city yeah, team, or yeah. who we would like? Or who would you who who would you like, and who would you think on form? I'd have to um, I'd have to try and look at the players. I've got the, uh, I've got the answer. Okay, so okay, Martin, I'll come to you Martin, first. Or, um, you seem to. Um, this goes to show you that we don't always prep the questions that are coming on the. Uh, Friday night social. I'll, I'd have to just let me. Uh, no worries. Go to right. Martin. I'll, okay. I'll, bring, I'll bring up the the, the top six. So did you say who down to who? Uh, down, yeah, uh, down to Tottenham. Down to, Tottenham. Down to Tottenham. Yeah, himself. because yeah. Right, right Martin. He's got well, it, Martin. the legend, the man himself, Bruno Fernandez. Mm. He's phenomenal, just amazing. The best centre midfielder ever in the world. Outshines everyone. No, I'm only kidding. Um, Harry Kane. Harry yeah. Kane. Yeah. And I know Ryan's screaming at the uh, Mr. Corey screaming at the at the screen right now. Probably just chucked his phone. Doesn't want to get out of bed to go and get it anymore. But no, right, Harry Kane. I'm sorry for this. I, I I keep coming back to it. I keep looking at who's going to replace Sergio. I know we've got issues with the back line, but. That replacement for Sergio is going to be the hardest signing we've ever made. And I'm just keep looking at it. I know he's got injury records, but he, he scores goals. Mm. He scores goals. He's homegrown. Yeah, he knows the Premier League. There you go. Yeah. Chris? Okay. Yeah, I, Harry Kane's a good chat, actually, but... Um, Mine's a, I'm, I think the best player in the Premier League is Kevin De Bruyne. And I think the <laughs> pl- person who's running him second uh, is Sadio Mane. And he's the player that I'd take. Um, I think he would fit right in at City. Provides, yeah. scores, full of energy, clever player. Uh, yeah, so it would be Sadio Mane for me. I think he's fantastic. Very, very, very uh, vicious as well when he's playing. Um, uh, Andy? Okay, got... well, I've just looked at the top seven in the table and just, I've not looked at the squads, but I've just looked at each team going through from first to seventh. Um, I've, took four, I've took four from Liverpool. Um, I've took, uh, maybe not all of them would get in the team, but certainly if, if I thought who could have picked from each team, well, I've took obviously Van Dijk. Uh, Robertson at left back, Trent Alexander Arnold and Sadio Mane. Uh, they're, they're, they're the four. If, if if I had to take any of them, it would be those four. I've took Pereira from um, Leicester. Uh, I've took Sionku for Leicester. Uh, one. Oh right, was it one? Yeah, one out of the top six. Like we. Oh, one sorry. Out of sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Well, well, I, I went through and took one from each. God, keep doing it. I'll, 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 I'll just, yeah. I took, I took Sionku, I took Mason Mount from Chelsea. Uh, I took Marcus Rashford from United. I've, I've always been a, a fan of Rashford for two years, two and a half years. And I've took Kane and Son from Spurs. Hey, hey, no, and a partridge in a pear tree. Yeah, there you go. Um, so which one of those? If I had to pick one of them, <laughs> well... I'd have, to, I'd have to take Virgil van Dijk. You can't have him. You can't have Virgil. He was, he was excluding van Dijk. Oh, was it? Okay. This tells you we are live. And no. <laughs> I will take either Robertson yeah. or Marcus Rashford. Yeah, all very good choices there, guys, definitely. You know, like, Rashford, don't Rashford's like, a what? shout. Don't, yeah, I, I, I love Rashford. I think he's a great. Rashford is a shout. Yeah, he's over Harry Kane. If if, uh, if but I'm I was about Gabby Jesus who doesn't score goals, and then I say Rashford because <laughs> he's not yeah. a prolific goal scorer either, is he? So I think if, under Pep, Pep would be brilliant under Pep. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like Son. I take Kane, but and I like Son as well. But you could pick any of them. Son. Um, oh. I mean, if you if you if you flip that around though. And you went to a Liverpool, United, whatever, and they and you said to them, "Who would you take out of City's team?" I think I think a number of those teams would take Edison. 
I'm not I'm not saying all of them would, but I'm saying a number of the the top seven teams would take Edison. United would. I'm saying I'm, yeah. I definitely think most would take Walker. Yeah. Uh, maybe not Liverpool. Over Wan Bissaka. Yeah. 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 The way Man United fans go on. Well, I, mean, I, I think he's a decent player. I think I think Walker's better, if I'm honest. Um, I think I think I think every one of them would take Laporte. Mm. Oh yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. Some might take Mendy. I think I think Fern- I think I think I think most of those teams would take Fernandinho, without a shadow of a doubt. Oh. Liverpool would with his experience. I think I think every single one of them would take Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah, I think most of them, if still now, would take David Silva. You're just jumping all over my golden questionnaire, you know. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay, you just sorry, jumps all go. over it. All right, well, I'll, I'll leave it there. But I mean, it's interesting because, yeah, I mean, if you had to with that, except for Virgil Van Dijk, yeah, I mean, there's mm-hmm. just running through my list. There's quite a number of players there that I'm thinking could potentially. I was quite surprised when I wrote them down, thinking he'd probably get in and he might get in and. There's quite a number of players, so it just shows you that we have got positions that we could improve on. We certainly could improve on. Um, interesting. Give us your thoughts below in the comments. Martin, go on. I don't want to jump on it. I don't know what your uh, what was your question, mate. Well, I'll tell you what. That was the best leading. We didn't even mention it. All I want to know is your combined City Liverpool eleven. What what? What system are we playing? We'll have to do this as a round robin one. 4-2-2. 4-2-2. 4-2-2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both teams play 4-3-3. Let's go. Can I just clarify something? Are we going on this season, from this season's form, or... Well, yeah, right well, now. Well, let's 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 to combine the two right now. Right now, as it okay. starts, the team yeah. are where we are right now. Okay. Um, I, I, let's say we're going to combine them now for next season. Next yeah. season's Premier League. Okay. That way, we we encompass everything. Uh, okay. Not just this season, but everything that's happened and moving forward. All right. Do you want me to go first or last? We'll do, we'll, 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 do, we'll do a rotation on, on right. this. Well, yeah. And that Good way. Idea. So let's start off with the keeper then. Chris? Edison. You're going Edison. Always. Yeah. Tom. Alison. For oh. me. Okay. Um, Martin. Alison. Sorry. Wow. Well, it's two all because I'm going for Edison. Um, I, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't see the height. I don't see the height with Alison. I just don't see it. But um, even though Edison can sort of lose his head every now and then, his passing is. In, all right, wasn't last night. <laughs> it's phenomenal. Um, yeah, interesting. Okay, so we've got a split there, Martin. You get the deciding vote because it's your uh, it's your, uh, your your question, mate. So you've you've got Edison or Allison? Scott Carson. Uh, we've got to go. No, we've got to go with you because you said Allison. Um, so I've got to go, Allison. Yeah. Yeah, you, got, get the, yeah. you get it's your it's your you get. The I've got to. I can't just for me. He, he's been and like I said. We're only going off this season. Yeah. Ready for next. Oh, yeah. And there's only been one yeah, win. Yeah. Every season okay. garbage this year. I'm sorry. Yeah. But, we did, but we did. But we did. Yeah. Turn, we yeah. did turn around and say it's about the previous seasons moving. He's gone to, to me. Edison, he's a brilliant goaler, but he's gone down big time this year. That he's was a crap good. save last night. Won it from Pedro. Shit save that was. <laughs> <laughs> that you know. I'm gonna make you. Kepa was, Kepa, we said Kepa's a shit goalie and look what he did last night. Yeah, Kepa's not the best though. But well, what I'm saying is, Edison has made ricks this season that... All I've keepers got, do. If, no, no, no. If Bravo had done that, he'd have got hung, drawn and quartered. Yeah, I agree with that comment. Sorry, Edison has got away yeah. with... But anyway, 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 anyway. Stop being a wind-up merchant, you. <laughs> the We're... Um, Martin gets a casting vote because it's his question. So it was two all. Ed, me and Chris for Edison, Tom and Martin for Alison. So Alison keeps his position in this combined Where do you want to go next? Left back, right back. Right back. So, Chris, this is going to be tough. Right back. Well, I would go for Trent in this, but I, but I think Kyle has had a really good season. 
Uh, uh, yeah. Judas. So I'm going for Trent. Okay, Tom. Uh, Drow. Uh, Drow. Uh, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Trent for me. Trent. <laughs> okay. Martin. Drow. Drow. All right. Joe Cancelo. Drow. He plays a can. He plays a cello better than he plays. Come on. <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah. Let's move on. Yeah, it's a, full, it's a full house. Uh, I'm afraid. I think even though Walks had a great season this season, I think just because of his age and his performances uh, for next season, I would take Trent Alexander Arnold over Walker. Uh, but I, I, I'm one of the. I like Walker, uh, but um, I know some don't, but I do. Uh, but yeah, for next season. With his age, it'd have to be Trent Alexander-Arnold. So, so far, we've got Alisson and Trent Alexander-Arnold for our start in the next season. <laughs> this wasn't the yeah, great I told, you, I told you I like the players, not I the fans. Feel, I feel a bit sick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. It's horrible. Okay. Let's go to the other side then and we'll go left. Oh, God. Left. <laughs> oh, Zinchenko. Uh, Robertson. <laughs> Robertson. Okay. It's true. I'm Tom. trying to make Liverpool feel really nice and have to love them very much. Tom. <laughs> has to be Robbo, doesn't it? Alexander, uh, Alexander? Robertson, yeah. I don't even like the way you said Robbo, then. It's quite... No, it's just because I was... No, it's just because I was writing it down quick and I put Robbo down because I, I don't know how to spell oh, Robertson. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been saying that every <laughs> week. Yeah. Yeah. No. I've called him sure. else, but I can't say it on camera. And it I'm begins sure with I saw Scottish. you at Anfield last night jumping up and down with a flare. Oh, of course I, I was. Just... I was literally <laughs> throwing beer cans around, singing. I'm sure, I'm sure if you open that cupboard in there, there'd be a load of red tops. <laughs> um, Martin. Chris, don't you dare. Right, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said red tops and not Liverpool tops. Go on. <laughs> nice cut, mate. <laughs> Uh, uh, full house. <laughs> right. Robo. You don't know if it's a full house because I. I, d- I didn't mean it. to say it. All right. Who are you gonna say, Zinchenko? <laughs> it's a full house, uh, Robertson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So now you know our defence has been crap all season. My throat is just getting drier and drier and drier. Can we just admit our defence has been crap all season? Right. Well, I can only assume to speed this up. We're, we're both, all of us will go Virgil van Dijk and Laporte. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, Virgil van Dijk and Laporte. So we and get, again, Joe Gomez has been absolute phenomenal, hasn't he? Oh, not as good as Laporte, though. We'll go, we, we get one in anyway to start with. Right. Um, let's go for. Uh, CDM. Let's go for the centre of midfield, say. Um, so if you want to call it CDM or whatever, but centre of midfield. Uh, who are you going for, Chris? This is my tough one, this one, because I would personally have Fernandinho there. But, um, no, you and, I'm, because and I'm going to stick with Fernandinho because uh, there's too, too many scousers in this already. It's for next season, so yeah, um, that's what we're working on. Uh, Tom? Bearing in mind it's next season, I'd put Rodri in. Because I, I don't like I don't like Fabinho. I think he's very overrated, and I think Rodri's better than him. Better than Henderson. Uh, well, we'll continue on to Henderson. Better than Rodri. Okay, um, Martin, who's going to be your centre midfielder, whether it be in a defensive role? Fabinho. You're... <laughs> we know that. Not, we knew that was coming. Fact I don't know it's safe, Fabinho. No, the simple fact is. You just go look at his performances. Did you watch him against Palace the other night? It was like the ultimate CDM. Against it was Palace. amazing. Against Palace. Palace. Hang on a minute. We said it about Rodri, and that was West Ham. So we can't have what's good for the goose is not good for the gander. It can we make your minds up. We can. We're City fans. <laughs> do what we want. I'm the only unbiased one, aren't yeah. he? Oh, oh, all right, then. I'm, all, I'm the only unbiased one. Oh my lord. Right, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna ruin it for Tom and for Martin because I'm going and I'm going for Fernandinho um, to be the centre. He's not all season. I'm still saying this is for next season. I'm going for Fernandinho. Based on this season. No, it isn't. We listened to what they originally said. We asked. We clarified this at the beginning, didn't we? To say it's over the recent performances in this season. A combined eleven for next season. So I'm gonna go with Chris and go. Uh, Fernandinho to be the holding 
CDM. Oh, the CDM. So we've just spent 20 minutes talking about Fernandinho <laughs> never playing CDM again, and you ruined him as a centre field. What are no, you doing? Because this is a combined 11, it's not a Man City 11. Oh. I don't think he's quite grasped this concept. Oh, I bloody grasped it. He's not really, he's not really grasped, grasped this concept. That's a question. Oh, hell. Right, right, right of midfield. Hang on, I get a final say. Uh, no, you don't. Oh. Only, only if it's only if it's a draw, uh, you get the final say, right? <laughs> it's like oh. tea sometimes. Um, Chris, right midfield. I got uh, Kevin in uh, in that. Okay. Tom. Yeah, Kevin De Bruyne. Martin. Kevin De Bruyne. What? No, Fabinho. <laughs> Can Why not- and, I'm, and on the right. You're, you're, you just love Fabinho. Right, yeah, all four. Kevin De Bruyne is in. Right, left the midfield. I did. I'd have loved him for Monaco. I said that at the time. And I loved him for Monaco. Uh, great. Um, <laughs> left, left, <laughs> the midfield. left the midfield. Chris. Mm, now, this is, a, I think this is really difficult. There's no no one really standing out for me here. Uh, yeah, I think it's I think it is really difficult. I, so I'm going to be loyal here, and I'm going to stick with Bernardo. Okay, so you've gone for Bernardo, Tom. Uh, Jordan Henderson. You're going for Henderson, so you go yeah. Henderson. We're talking, and, yeah. Who, who we, did you have? You had Rodri, didn't you? Yeah, Rodri, Henderson, and uh, De Bruyne would be my midfield because you look at where Henderson was plays. He plays on the left side as midfield, and Fabino drops, and Henderson comes forward. So, I I'd, I'd have field's going to be slow. No, it's not because Henderson's. Uh, we want leaders. If you're combining it, you want a leader in midfield. Hey, yeah, but yeah, imagine that though. Henderson and Kevin De Bruyne, you sorted for ever there. If you have that, wouldn't have Henderson on my toilet paper. That's not. That's I, a bit I, tight. I must admit, I don't get the Henderson thing. No, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't. I, I know. I, I think it. I don't think his performances have been justified. I think it's just because he's in Liverpool. But Liverpool fans will claim that that's just me being bitter. I'm, it's not. Um, I've watched Liverpool all We're season. All allowed an opinion. Um, yeah. I, 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 he has some great games, but I don't see the hype with him. I really don't. But anyway. Is it because he's English and not got a fancy name? I don't know. No, no, I'm asked, I don't mean I, I, against Ander. Yeah. I mean in general because. There's not I've a lot of people him, yeah. outside of Liverpool like him as a yeah. player. Yeah, I mean, I've I've seen him have some really good games, but then, like I say, I've seen I've seen Mason Mount have some really good games. I've seen yeah. Madison have some brilliant games. I've seen other players. You know, it, I don't know. But anyway, it's all about opinions. Uh, Martin, left side of midfield. Only one thing for me: Stockport, Iniesta, Phyllis Foden. Phyllis. <laughs> Phyllis. We do miss her on the channel. Can I change mine? <laughs> oh, well, you've all that gone to Foden now, have you? I suddenly remembered he was around somewhere. I've actually gone for Foden. Uh, I'm, with, I'm with Martin. I've gone for Foden as well. Um, only because it's going to be for next season. Um, I, but the, it's, I think that's out of the combined 11. It's the most difficult position for me. I, it could have picked Bernardo um, in there Still easily. Still Henderson, Tom? Uh, okay. So, uh, fake fan. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Do you want to know my front three yet, mate? <laughs> oh, look, I love you, really. Right, okay. Yeah, Let's finish this off then. So, do, should we go for our striker first off? And then we'll decide on the right wing, left wing, or left side, whichever. I'm going to be honest. I think we're both, we're all going to say the right and the left the same, aren't we? I think that's pretty obvious. Think. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Chris, striker. Serge. Okay. Uh, Tom. Serge. Martin. Serge. It's a full house. Um, so, our striker, Sergio. Right, we'll go straight on to the right wing then. Um, Chris. Salah. Salah. <laughs> <laughs> That's his celebration. Okay. Salah, Tom. My apologies to anyone watching. Sterling. Sterling. Martin. Salah. 
I can't win here, can I? Because he gets the deciding casting vote. Are you uh, going to say Sterling? Yeah. Yeah. You watched the two this year. On, on the right. On the right. Not on the left. Exactly. On the right. He's sublime on the right. Crap on both. Oh no! <laughs> Don't talk garbage. Um, right. I, w- I would. Ooh, uh, he had a great. He had a great season up till November. Let's, Come let's, on, let's, let's be let's, honest. Let's just um, he's getting me the stats now. This yeah. is yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, well, when we get to off, so he's got this year he's got twelve goals in the Premier League solely. Uh this year. Right. No, I know Salah Sal, 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 Sal has got more, there's no doubt about it. He's, I think he's got 17, has he? Um, he's got more assists. Um, yeah, he's got uh, total 21 goals, seven assists this season, Sterling. Um, let's just have a quick look at Salah. Um I'm bringing it up on my phone. Just, I just want to just before I say anything, I want to make sure my facts are right in case anyone. Twenty-one and ten, so they're virtually, virtually identical. Um, I like Salah. I must admit, he's a good player. There's no doubt about it. But if I had to take a right winger, I would take Sterling um, on the right rather than the left. But uh, you get the casting vote, so. It's Salah. I'll tell you what, oh, no, I'll say Sterling because... No, 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 you have to stick with it, you have to stick with it. You're, you've got the casting vote, so Salah. Right, left wing then, Chris. It's Mane all day long. I think this is going to be... No, I'm actually going to change my right winger to Mahrez. No. <laughs> no, you can't. What? <laughs> <laughs> is this going to be a full Is this going to be a full house? Yeah, I think we're all saying Mane, aren't we? Well, yeah. uh, Leroy's probably going, isn't he, so... Oh, uh, he's <laughs> A full house. Yes, not by Munich 11. Tom, you you got Marnie, I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah, Marnie, yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's not denying how good house. Is. All right, okay. Is. There is one question left, which I'm going to add to it. The manager. Yeah. Mm. Pep or Klopp? That's Chris. easy for me. It's got to be Pep. Pep. Tom. Tom. Pep. Okay, Pep. so... So, our combined 11 reads like this, and, and don't blame me, don't blame me, it's not just me. Um, Alison got the casting vote from Martin as our goalkeeper. Will you stop saying Martin got the casting vote? Um, <laughs> so, we've got Alison in net, we've got all of us went for Trent Alexander Arnold, all of us went for Virgil van Dijk, all of us went for Aimer at Laporte, all of us went for Robbo. According to Tom, uh, his favourite yeah, Scott. Yeah. Uh, that's our that's our defence. Watson, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Virgil Van Dijk, Laporte, and Robertson. Centre midfield was a bit more difficult, but uh, Fernandinho, uh, as the holding CDM, got the vote. Um, on the right, it was unanimous. Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, the left was a bit more difficult, but. Phil Foden for next season just edged over Bernardo and, and Jordan Henderson. Up front, it was unanimous. Sergio Aguero is still the striker. Uh, on the right, again, it was close, but Martin got the casting vote. Um, so it's Martin's pick, which was Mohamed Salah uh, over Raheem Sterling. Uh, on the left, yeah, you might as well. Um, on the left, it was a unanimous uh, Sadio Mane on the left. So, the manager of this combined Man City versus uh, uh, Man City and Liverpool eleven is Pep Guardiola. Uh, so, so Liverpool fans don't come in to biased and we're bitter, four, four, we're drinking our own tears. Five, six. They got six in. We got five. Um, so, <laughs> Liverpool edged it. Shows you, didn't it? It does show you, uh, yeah, it does. I'm sure. I'm sure everybody will uh, will argue now. The for all of these positions. Can I just say one thing. It'd be good to do that. I mean, if we, hopefully the Friday night social will still be going in 12 months. I reckon we do that question again in a year or so, 
and imagine the 11 then, because that would be good to see. Yeah, well, obviously we'll have yeah. Mbappe yeah. as a striker. We'll still have the same back four, because <laughs> we've not bought any centre-backs or a left-back. <laughs> um but anyway, give us your combined 11. I know uh, it's been done over the summer uh, on in social media and things like that, but now we've come towards the end of the season. And what we are, don't forget, we're not talking about this season's sole performance. We're talking about the two teams moving through for next season. Um, so think about that when you pick yours. Give us, in your comments below, give us your uh, combined 11. It is, it is harder than you think. I know Liverpool fans will probably say, I'll take Aguero on KDB, that's it, and we'll keep everything else. And maybe they won't. Maybe they'll pick some more City players. Um, but yeah, interesting. Very interesting. But anyway, uh, this is the end of the Friday Night Social. And uh, this is uh, part three. And this was the Golden Questions. I want to say a massive thank you to Chris for coming on. Chris, cheers, buddy. Thanks, Andy. Can I just say one thing before we go? Uh, I read on social media, I think either today or yesterday, that Zaba was leaving West Ham. Please, please, Man City, bring him back. And please, please, Zabba, come back home and uh, get on the coaching staff. I think he might have a really good impact. Yeah, I agree with you. I think it would be, a, and I think he's mentioned it, he would be honoured to take a role like that. And I really hope that City do the right thing in the coaching role. He's got a lot to offer, lots of experience, knows the club. He's <laughs> an adopted he's an adopted man. Um he just loves the club anyway. Uh, but yeah, great shout out. I also want to shout out, obviously, the uh, the anniversary of the death of uh, Mark Vivian Foe uh, today. Uh, so rest in peace to the, um, to, to Mark. And uh, yeah, that number 23 shirt was retired um, by Manchester City. Uh, Tom, thank you very yeah. much, buddy. Thank, thank you, everybody. It's been good as always. And Martin, you'll be, it's quite, quite a rare uh, week this week, just to let you know, because you were on earlier. It's not been any. There's not been any weights lifted this week. It's been a leg week. I've been on the bike all the time, so there's no muscle uh, gain this week on the on the upper body, only on the legs. There you oh, go. So you're looking a bit scrawny. All oh, right, fair <laughs> enough. Sorry. <laughs> hey, I, 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 I was going to call you Arnie. I might just call you Sarnie. <laughs> Bacon Sarnie. Bacon uh, Oh no, we can't mention. We can't with oh, somebody no. be having to put another pound in the uh, the uh, square. I gave twenty quid last week. <laughs> Still not enough. It isn't. Uh, Martin, <laughs> we're not talking about your you know what live. Uh, right, go on, what? Martin, thanks for coming on late, buddy. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, can I just say? <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was late. I've not had any digs at you tonight whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. <laughs> I'd like to thank Spencer Pryor, who was an absolute yeah. gentleman to speak to. It was a real honour to speak to someone who's played for the club recently. I know we are saying recently, but it was. Um, yeah, it's quite years ago. Really interested. No, I mean recently, as in me, watch, you know, me watching him. Yeah, 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 of course. You're no, old, lo- lo- Lovely fella. Pardon? You're old, mate. You're <laughs> not know. a youngster anymore. He, he, he still thinks he's like 17, doesn't he? Do you know what? But we talked about that day in Blackburn. We talked about where he signed. We even talked about George Weyer. Yeah. And how, all I'm going to say is, was it really George Weyer in the chain, training ground? Yeah. <laughs> Go over and have a listen and find out. And we might have him on very, very soon. But go yeah. over, give that a watch. Real, real gem. Thank yeah, a lovely, lovely, lovely fella, and really interesting interview. Great job done by Martin. So don't forget, if you haven't seen that, go over and watch it. It's worth it. It's just over an hour. And, and the watch along Sunday. Yes, watch along. Uh, we're doing a preview tomorrow with uh, Matty from the Magpie Channel again um, for the Sunday's game, the FA Cup against Newcastle. Uh, so don't forget, check that one out. It'll probably be out sometime tomorrow evening. And uh, also, don't forget the watch along. Uh, Martin will be doing the watch along on Sunday, uh, so check in for that. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you everybody. All oh, there's loads of subscribers lately. Uh, it's been really good. Loads of really good comments and discussion. Uh, but this is Andy from Man City Fan TV. Don't forget check. And, out- uh, sorry to jump in. Just I wanted to double check. 
We're going to be live at six o'clock on Sunday. Six o'clock. I just wanted to, that's what I wanted to double check, six o'clock. Okay, no problem. I'll start my um, outro uh, again because uh, it's six o'clock uh, on Sunday. But anyway, I won't bother. Uh, Martin, don't, 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 don't be late again. Don't be late again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't forget, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Comment below. There's some been very, very interesting comments, uh, questions, sorry, um, tonight on the golden question. And also, don't forget part one. We were uh, we were discussing the Chelsea uh, performance last night. We were also discussing um, Liverpool winning the title uh, in part one. Part two was about Koulibaly and other players that we think might need to come into City. And then part three, which is this one. Some really interesting questions. But anyway, take care and we'll see you tomorrow. See you soon.